Hi folks, I'm Craig Taylor and as always a huge thank you for joining me here on my YouTube channel The Bushcraft Padawan. Some time ago now I recorded a very short video giving people an introduction as to how they could get started with map reading. I'll link to that video up here but for those of you that want a reminder I basically said get a map of your local area where you live get out of your front door and walk around the town do the school run take your dog for a walk go somewhere familiar and friendly and safe and take your map with you and just understand how the map and the land and the land and the map relate to one another and i got some good feedback on that video so much so that i thought why don't i do the same with a compass and this is the compass that i'm going to be referring to and using during this particular video whatever compass you've got as long as it's been designed for map reading and navigation will probably be applicable to this video as well. This is a silver, that's the manufacturer, it's a type 454, that's the model number if you like. You may have a similar compass, you may have a very different compass, it may have a, a, a lid, a housing that, that slides over part of the compass. Your compass may be circular, it may be metal, it may be made by a different manufacturer kind of doesn't matter for the purposes of this video to be brutally honest so grab your compass if you've not got one possibly loan one or maybe even buy a cheap one if you're, if you're serious about this this is the compass i'm going to be referring to other thing worth mentioning when you get start when you start out with, with, with learning about compasses is different people call the same thing on the compass by a different name what i'm going to try and do in today's video is to not refer to anything specific on this compass. I'm going to describe what I'm talking about and hopefully, although I'm uncertain, that will relate to what you're seeing in your, on your compass uh, at, at that end of the video when you're watching it. So the only thing I'm really going to refer to today is a, in my example, is a red needle that is in the centre of this circle on the compass. Now my compass, it's one needle, one end of it is red with a luminous dot on the end and the other end is white. And you notice if I move my compass around, you'll see that needle kind of jiggling about. Get your compass, take it and just move your compass around and watch what happens to that needle. Initially your compass needle will, will, will drift and it will move and it may spin about or it may wobble about, but eventually and quite quickly it will settle and it will be pointing in a certain direction. Most people assume that that needle is pointing directly to magnetic north. And it kind of isn't, it kind of isn't. What your compass is doing is, is it's aligning itself to the magnetic field on the Earth's surface that is heading in the direction of magnetic north. So a little bit of a nerdy navigation fact for you. It might help you win a pub quiz one day. That compass needle, the red needle that I referred to earlier on, it may be different on your compass, doesn't necessarily point directly to magnetic north. It's aligning itself to the magnetic field of the Earth's surface where, where you are on the Earth's surface. In a nutshell, kind of doesn't matter, to be perfectly honest, from a navigation perspective. It's doing its job. It's doing what it's supposed to do, assuming that your compass isn't defective or damaged or being affected by metal objects in or around you. They can have an effect on your compass needle. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna look at the direction that that red compass needle is pointing. And it's actually pointing directly behind me. So I'm gonna take this compass and I'm gonna just move my body so that it is facing in the direction that my red needle is facing. Now that's quite rude because I've turned my back to you so I'm going to turn my body around so I'm still talking to the camera you can hear me. But my body is now aligned with my compass needle and my compass needle is pointing in the direction-ish, forget about the specifics, of magnetic north. So I'm now facing magnetic north. If we think, going back to school, what the directions of the compass are, north, south, east, west, if I look over my right shoulder, I'm now facing approximately east. If I look over my left shoulder, I'm now facing approximately west. And if I turn my body back round again, I am pretty much facing damn on to the camera south. North, south, east and west, according to where I'm standing. And that's what I want you to do. It's as simple as that. 
grab yourself a compass, go outside, go into your front garden, go into your back garden, go into your drive, and just hold your compass, turn your body so that you're facing magnetic north in the direction that that red north pointing needle is facing, maybe different on your compass, and then just realize what's east, west, and south in relation to the position that you're facing. Once you've done that, grab that map. You remember the map I mentioned in the first video, the local map of your area? Grab that map and go out for another walk. Don't go too far afield, don't go out into the woods or the hills or the mountains or the bush. Just take a walk around your town or your village or your local dog walk. Go for a walk, take your map and take this compass and just realise that as you're moving around, you may be moving direction, but your compass needle will still unless it's been affected by anything around it, will still be facing magnetic north. And just get a feeling for which tracks are heading in a northerly direction, which roads are heading in a, or which direction have you come from a southwesterly direction, or have you come from a southerly direction, where your dog normally stops for a pee. The farmhouse, is that north of your position or is it west of your position? Just get a feeling with an area that is familiar and safe and comfortable for you with how the compass works in relation to your map, in relation to the ground around you. Now, for those of you that are advanced and seasoned navigators, you've probably got nothing out of this video. Maybe the exception of that north pointing needle is something that, that, that fools most people, might help you win a pub quiz in the future. This video is aimed at the people that are just getting started with map reading and land navigation, and I hope that this has been useful to you. If you found it useful, if you think I'm going to go and give that a try, if you thought to yourself, I never knew that about the North Pointer needle, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. If there's someone in your network that might benefit from it, please do share it with those as well. And as always, if you're not yet a subscriber of my channel, please do click, click down here somewhere on that subscriber button and become one um, and you won't miss out on any future videos. As always, a huge thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.